Hey guys, Donzo. Uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a minnow trap demonstration. Uh, I'm going to show you a frable trap and I'm going to show you a G's minnow trap. I'm going to give you all the positives and I'm going to give you all the negatives. And it's going to be up to you to decide what kind of trap you want to use. But I'm going to explain what traps I use and why. But uh, let me get started. Um, I got a message on my YouTube and Facebook back in October, late October, early November. And a guy asked me if I was interested in trying out his product, making some videos with it. And uh, we talked about it. He asked me what I thought about a Frable Minnow Trap. And I had nothing good to say about it. And the guy that I talked to, they started, this is their business. And these traps are made by hand in the United States. They're not coming from China, Japan, anywhere else where all this junk is made. They cost a couple dollars more, but I'm going to explain why, and you'll catch a lot more minnows in them than you will use an afraidable minnow trap. So I'm going to read out. I got too many things to do, so I'm going to have to read them off to you. But uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the afraidable minnow trap, and I'm going to show you why I don't like afraidable. And I've used them for years, but I go trapping because it's the only thing I can buy around here. But if you look, you can see that this trap does not seal. I can put my whole finger in there and for the minnows and move it around. And for the minnows that I want to use for trout fishing, they could get in the trap and get right out. This clip right here is hard to use. The clip is, uh, the clip's all right. But like I said, I mean, you just look at the, it's, it's not a very well made trap, you know. It's made of like a, a plastic or there's some kind of plastic coating on this black trap. Yeah, black trap looks good because people can't see it in the water maybe. They won't steal it or something, but these are junk. The holes, the entrance holes on these things are huge. They're, they're good for crayfish. I can catch crayfish in them. And if I'm uh, going after bigger chumps for musky fishing and stuff, they work great, but other than that, they're junk. And let's get into the video, what I think about them. Uh, the Frable Trap here, uh, I don't have any positives about it at all. I mean, it will catch minnows. They cost $9. You know, everybody sees a $9 minnow trap and then they see a $12 or $15 minnow trap. What are they gonna go with? They wanna save money, so they go with the junk. But then you gotta think about this. You gotta think about your time. You gotta think about your gas. And wouldn't you rather spend an extra three, four dollars on a minnow trap that's going to be successful and catch you a lot of minnows? Well, if I could have bought traps around here that were these G's minnow traps uh, five, ten years ago, I would have. When I was a kid, they were around. Um, nobody carries them any anymore. Our Walmart Dunham's carries the cheap Frable because that's what everybody buys. So we're going to try and change that and get the G's minnow traps around here and get people selling these and get them on the market instead of uh, order, ordering them online or something. Anyways, uh, I can go minnow trap and I've got three frables and I can be lucky to catch a dozen minnows between these three traps. I got my old rusty minnow trap here and when I go out I can catch ten dozen minnows in this one and I can have my frable minnow trap and I did this before sitting two feet from my rusty G's minnow trap and this baby is the king of minnows. It just it catches that, all that I need. And you might wonder why I need so many minnows. Well, when I'm out trout fishing, it's nothing to go through three, four, five dozen little uh, yellow and um, orange side bases. And then when I go walleye fishing, I like to jig with uh, little crappie minnows or trout minnows as I call them. And it's nothing to go through another three, four, five dozen by myself. So, I mean, I, I need a lot of minnows. I, I like to have anywhere from uh, 80 to 100 dozen in my minnow tank at a time. And when I'm done showing you the minnow traps, I'm going to show you what my minnow tank looks like. Um, and like I stressed in my other minnow trap videos, uh, make sure you follow your rules and regulations. Make sure you've got a name tag on your minnow trap and stuff. Right here in Michigan, the only the minnows that I can trap, um, I have to use them in a tributary that goes into that creek or that river. So check yours. I, I don't know um, how it varies from different states and stuff. But anyways, uh, the Frable Minnow Traps, I, I've got nothing positive to say about it. Um, the negatives, uh, like I said, it's very cheaply made. It's black coated. Um, you put bread in here and dog food like I use, and the minnows will sit on top of the trap and peck at the trap through it 
and eat it, all the small bases that I like to catch. Um, like I said, you know, uh, occasionally a few get in here, but not very often. I'd rather go check my minnow traps three, four times and have 50 dozen minnows than going out uh, 15 times to get enough minnows. And out of those 15 times, most of my minnows comes out of the G's minnow trap. Uh, so this black coated stuff on here, it's junk. Like I said, spend an extra few dollars on a G's minnow trap. Um, another negative, like I said, the big hole of entry in both the, all my frables, they're horrible. I had to grab my vice grips and squeeze them down to try and if I did get any smaller minnows, to keep them in there. And you know how I got to keep the, uh, this sealed? If you look right here, I've got bread ties. So I got to put bread ties on here to try and squeeze it together, and it helps a little bit, but not very well. So um, these frables, I can tell you what, they're probably gonna go sit uh, in the corner of my garage unless I'm going after chubs because it's gonna be all nothing but G's. Now, um, I'm sorry, this is gonna be a longer video, and um, I'm also gonna be showing you some minnow trapping videos in the comparison. I'm gonna set the frables, and I'm gonna show you going after daces. I'm going to show you my rusty G's minnow trap, and then I'm going to take my new G's minnow traps, and I'm going to show you what these catch, and I'm going to show you what these catch. And in between checking the traps, I'm not going to be shutting off the camera and emptying the minnows out of here and putting them in here because I, I want to be truthful and honest like I am in all my videos for you guys because it, it doesn't pay to um, BS you guys and tell you guys what you don't want to hear and send you in the wrong direction. I'm not about that at all. Uh, also, these spray wells, to get the clip on, it's very hard because this plastic, it doesn't want to line up right. And like I said, it's just, it's just a horrible minnow trap. Uh, when you do get the clip on, um, the centering and stuff, if you don't, bring these uh, bread ties with you or small pieces of wire, I wouldn't even bother setting the trap. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible. And then uh, these G's minnow traps, these smaller ones here, this is an eighth inch holes on these. This is a quarter inch hole. Um, when you're setting your minnow traps, remember, always set your funnel downstream because the minnows swim upstream. This one I've got two funnels on. I've got one here and one here. This trap, I've got one funnel on, and this side would be facing downstream so the minnows can swim up in it. And uh, something else I want to show you on these traps, I'll get to that at the end. Now, let me finish these uh, positive and negatives. The positive things about these G's minnow traps, uh, they're made in the USA. Your minnow trap here is going to cost you $12, depending on where you go. Like I said, these frables are anywhere from $8 to $9. Spend the money, the extra money will cut into your time and your gas and you get all the minerals that you need. Uh, they're sealed. I put this clip on. These traps are super tight. There ain't even a little tiny baby minnow. Once they go in here, they're going to get out in the crease. Uh, the silver mesh. Um, the the minnows just feel comfortable with it because when other minnows are inside and these minnows that are on top of the trap, they can see that there's minnows inside and they're swimming around. They're going to find a way to get in into the minnow trap. These black minnow traps, like I said, if a few do uh, find a way to get inside, these minnows that are feeding on top, they can't see them inside. You know, they, they're not going to feel comfortable like they do with the silver minnow trap. Uh, smaller holes, port of entry on every one of these traps. They've got small, small, uh, smaller than a quarter hole. The minnows get in, they're not coming out. Uh, and like I said, the frable hole, it was real big. I had to take my vice grips and smash them and all, all my traps to try and make them smaller. And then uh, another positive with these, like I said, gas and time, it's, it's going to be well worth it. I'd rather take three or four trips to check my minnow traps and get everything that I need. And then as I need more minnows, then you go get more minnows. With these traps and my, this one, um, I was trapping for two weeks steady and I was trapping consistently until I was pretty much done trout fishing and then switching over to my Panther Martins and uh, Rapplers and stuff like that in that past video that I showed you. Um, again, check the rules and regulations in every one of your states. 
uh, before you even go out trapping. Um, make sure that you got a name tag on and stuff. Uh, and for bait, like I said, I've always used old bread or just any kind of bread I'll take out. I put one to one and a half pieces in each trap. What I do is uh, I'll set it out in the sun 10, 15 minutes before I go so it gets hard and crusty. I just throw it in there. I throw a handful of dog food in each trap and I'm ready to rock and roll. And um, if the minnows are really running, I can come back in an hour. And I can empty my traps. I can set them and come back in another hour. And a lot of times I'll do that. Like right now, our ice just went out last week. So it's time for me to get out minnow trap. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow, but that's not going to bother me. The minnows ain't going to care if they're wet or not because they're in the water anyways. And uh, when you trap minnows, when you're done using them at the end of the day, don't release them just anywhere. You know, put them back in your minnow tank. If not, if you release them in that body of water that you're fishing because it's a tributary to or something, that's fine. But um, I, I, don't, I don't recommend, recommend it. You know, put them back in your minnow tank. Uh, now let's get on to these traps. These G's minnow traps that the guy sent me, um, you've got clips. Like I said, if you could see this, I don't know how good it's going to show. This clip is on here. I mean, I'm trying to pull it apart, and they're just, it's solid. You know, like I said, when you're looking at the, uh, the Frabo metal trap, I mean, I could stick my whole finger in there and stuff. Eighth inch mesh, quarter inch mesh. With this one, I don't have a clip on it because this is like a, a quick release. Um, what is it actually called? It's, a, it's an easy open. So when I got my minnows in there, instead of having to take my clip off and dump it off and stuff, I can just dump my dog food down the funnel. But if you look at this, all I got to do is pull it apart. Pull it apart, my minnow bucket's underneath me, pull it apart back. My minnows are in my bucket, throw a handful of dog food in here, and it's set. I mean, that's, I don't mind using the clips anyways, I think they're great. But I was sent uh, two of these easy, easy clips, so I'll be using those at the same time. G's also makes... A crayfish trap, and this is also used for eels. Uh, I'm gonna have to check the rules and regulations in Michigan here because I, I believe this is probably too long. I'm not sure, but uh, even if it wasn't, um, I would short it up. I can take this apart. I can take this end off. Take this end off. Now I got three pieces. I leave one clip on there. Watch how quick and easy this is. Clip goes on nice and easy, and now I got a, another minnow trap. There's one, two, three. Then uh, he also sent me a lid. So if I want to make one of these into a minnow bucket, I trap my minnows. I'm out at a dock, I'm at my cabin or something. I can take my middle trap apart. This one only has one funnel on it, so take the funnel part off, set it on the ground there. Take my middle bucket lid, it goes right on top here. Just like a middle trap. The only thing is, there's no port of entry. So all I gotta do is open up the top here. Fingers are slippery. Dump my minnows in here. Shut my top. I've got a little handle. Tie a rope on there. Set her by my dock. It's going to float there. And whenever I need a minnow, pull it up while the water goes out. Put the clip up. Reach in there. Grab a minnow. Hook it on. Drop this back in at the end of my dock. Lake. I, you could be fishing a lake or something. You know, if you're fishing panfish, you could even put your panfish in here to keep them alive and take them home at the end of the day. Uh, that's about it. I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. So, I mean, you got your, your minnow bucket, you got your eel trap, if it's put together, or your crayfish trap. You got different size minnow traps. Like I said, these minnow traps are $12 a piece, so you're paying three or four more dollars per minnow trap than you do for a fray ball but your gas and your time and this junk trap that's made over in Japan, China, Taiwan, they're worthless. 
That's why they come from over there, because all they do is make junk pretty much anyways. These are made in the United States. Support the United States. Buy states made stuff. You know, like I said, a few extra dollars is going to be well worth your time. You know, uh, it was nice enough to send me all this stuff. Um, I'm going to make some videos for him. Like I said, I'm going to set the Frable Minnow Trap. I'm going to set the G's Minnow Trap. And I'm going to set the old rusty G's Minnow Trap. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to catch minnows in. 95% of the minnows are going to come out of these two, and it's going to be a waste of time to use that, but I just want to do the video right and uh, show you guys what we got going on. Um, I said at the beginning, these guys started out back in the late 1800s, I think it was, and uh, they started two guys in the garage. They continue to make minnow traps now. There's uh, six or eight of them working in a huge warehouse. They uh, wholesale. Uh, worldwide and stuff so next time you're in a sports good shop or something and you're looking for minnow traps and if all they've got is a frable ask them about the g's minnow traps if they can order some of them because that's what you're interested in and uh, i'm going to do the same around here to the to the uh um mom and pop stores that i know the people that own them and stuff to see if we can get some of these in here instead of the junk um these came from uh fillmore new york so um, I appreciate the uh, sponsor, the minnow traps and everything, and we're going to get some good videos out, and I'm going to push everybody this way into using these traps. Um, we're going to start out trapping dace minnows, and then we're going to move into trapping some fathead minnows, and then a little bit later on we'll trap some chubs and shiners. And if you guys are interested, uh, anybody wants to see a leech video again, or you guys want to see some crayfish videos and a boil up or something, holler at me, let me know. Um, it's a... Uh, Turkey season opens tomorrow. Trout season opens next Saturday, so I gotta get these in, rain or shine, um, and get myself some minnows because it's the first thing I get off uh, next Saturday in the morning, I'm gonna get out and work, or I'm gonna get out of work and go trout fishing. Um, I got uh, here's something pretty cool. About two months ago, I had a guy email me um, or YouTube, anyways, uh, from the National Geographic channel, interested in one of my videos. Um, he was a producer and he said that this lady that was fixing up a program, um, they were interested, they wanted to use my raccoon video here out of the garage and stuff, uh, some clips out of it. And he said she'd be getting a hold of me in the next week. Well, she never did, but two days ago she mailed me again. She, she just needed confirmation again um, if they could have permission to use the video, some clips in there and stuff. So. I thought that was pretty cool, you know, I'm like, yeah, absolutely, you know, just uh, give me a holler, you know, email me back, let me know the time, central. Uh, the name of the show is like, uh, funny things animals will do or something. I'm not sure, but if anybody's interested, uh, you know, throw me a PM or something, and once they let me know, I'll let you know, and if you want to check it out. But anyways, uh, good luck hunting turkeys this spring, fishing, anything else you do, stay safe, buy G's little traps, and, uh... That's about it. Until the next video, when we start, I'll show you the trapping. I'm going to set the traps, but I'll show you the checking of the traps, and I'll explain when I pull them up. I'm going to have to have somebody there with me uh, recording because the pond that I trap is just, it's hilly and stuff. And if I tried setting up my tripod with a camera, it just wouldn't happen. Maybe I'll bring my GoPro or something today. Anyways, people, peace out. Any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll get back to you right away. All right, I'm back. I almost forgot. This is my minnow tank. See all the holes in it? All it is is a washer tub. I stick a stick right through there. I've had otters get in here more than once, so this year I'm going to put a piece of plywood over the top here, and I'm going to put a lock on it and stuff, so that's it. Traps, traps, traps. I started cleaning up my garage yesterday. Softball's right around the corner. I can't wait. Uh, oh, here, there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. If anybody's interested, I can get you the dimensions and stuff. Uh, Baltimore Orioles. I love Baltimore Orioles. And if anybody wants to feed them, you want to make one of these, here's a Baltimore Oriole feeder. Painted bright orange. It's on PVC pipe. Painted her up yesterday. Got some nails on there. Slices of orange, an orange in there. I got some uh, 
some little plastic Easter eggs. I got to get some grape jelly, put the grape jelly in there and stuff. And then I got a new feeder here. The gray squirrels and black squirrels chew them up so they can't chew that one up and this one. But you can see what they did to this one. They chew all around the freaking holes. They chewed that hole out. Ruined three of my other feeders. So, uh, anyways, I'll get this video loaded up. And like I said, any questions or whatever, uh, holler at me. Peace out.